Welcome back to more Final Fantasy X, everyone. So last time we met here too, another island, because, you know, Sin attacked us when we were with Riku, and that was not good. But we met Waka, pretty cool guy, you know? Uh, let me go! Got a favor to ask you. You want me on your team, right? Hmm? A major blitz tournament coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. It's so huge, I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Then, you can go back to your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on! Sure thing. Dude, our team is gonna rock, eh? I thought then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. I wasn't too far off, either. This is where I was born. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years, and we never won a game. Well, after last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. So, after quitting, I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. Ten years without a single win will do that. Mm. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Hey, hey! So, you want to win the next tournament? Go out with a bang. So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. As long as we play our best. If we give it our all, I can walk away happy. Uh, no, 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 no. If I say, what's our goal? You say, victory! When you play in a Blitzball tournament, you play to win. Victory? You're serious? Hmm, okay. Very different mindsets, you know? Waka's like, just, you know, do our best. And Titus is like, no, 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 we gotta win. We must win. Okay, so now we're just heading back to the town, of course, the town of Besaid. Ah, the one from the sea. Be on guard. There are fiends on the road today. After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. Who are they? Luzu and Gata, Crusaders. Huh? Cruise of what? What, you forgot that too? Hey, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. Cool. About the Crusaders, you can ask them yourself. They got a lodge in a village. I always found that scene funny. He's like, I'll help you out and tell you about the Crusaders, and Titus is like, Okay, and in return, I will make us win the cup. It's like, okay, awesome. So go ahead and ask your crusader yourself. I'm not going to tell you. Like, <laughs> that's just laughable. It's so funny. Oh my god. He saved village. They got any food there? We'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Let's see. The crusader's lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Gata are usually there. Hmm. All right. Over here. Huh? What's up? You do remember the prayer, right? Hmm. I don't remember, or I don't know any prayers. I'm just gonna put I don't remember. I didn't know it in the first place, to tell the truth. Man, that's like the basics of the basics. All right, I'll show you.
Go ahead, you try. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, not bad. Okay, now, go present yourself to the temple summoner. Any Blitzball player would know that prayer. It was the Blitzball sign for victory. Okay, so I guess that uh, like kind of called a prayer, but that prayer is like um, it not only appears in Spira, you know, but also Titus does recognize it, in you know Xanarkand and Blitzball. Okay, so in here, there's actually a couple chests. I, I mean, I just got one. There's four total. There's three over here, and the one I just got for a total of four. High potion. Okay. 400 gil. This place looks so relaxing, by the way. You know, it really does. It's so cool right here, this little area. Okay. Whatever. But yeah, here's our first village of the entire game, people. Finally a village, right? So let's see. Let's go ahead and enter this building first. What's in here? Oh. Hmm. Buy items. Okay, it's a shop. I can buy potions, phoenix towns, and antidotes at the moment, but I... Uh, nope. I don't need to sell stuff. What about you? What do you have to say? Some R&R. &R, whatever. I don't care. Okay, let's just go back and, um... To the next building. This one right over here. Let's see what these people have to say. Oh, it's Luzu and Gata. Okay. So yeah, Luzu and Gata are going to be recurring characters here. In this game. They're not playable characters, but they are going to be recurring, so what, what do you have to say? Oh, nah. It's just, you know, to rest up. Okay, here's a scene. Hey, you! You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir! The Crusaders are sworn to battle Sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew, and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years, and you still haven't beat it? Uh, uh, uh. Well, we've steered sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat sin? Is sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. Wow, okay, so first time players can't see the f like the very funny side to that scene at the end of like, whose job is it to defeat Sin? Because, you know, longtime fans of Final Fantasy X know exactly who that is. And it's just, it's so funny because like, that's a given in spirit. Everybody knows who. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, enter the buildings on the right side now, because I forgot to. Let's see, so there's one over here. I don't know what this building does though, let's see. Ooh, another small place, okay. Yes, it is, it's my first time to say it. Okay, what about you? Hmm, alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and... Whatever, nothing important there in that building. Next. This one. Okay, what's in here? Oh, this is Waka's place. Go present yourself to the temple summoner before we eat, yeah? Okay, sure. I guess I'll do that. And the last building is this one. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Buy cheap and sell high. Okay, so a lot of buildings that are just not important, you know, but it's still nice to just show them off in the Let's Play and I'll show off pretty much everything about the game. That's usually important. 
So, let's just simply head to the temple. That is our goal, you know? We have to present ourselves to the summoner, apparently. It was then, standing in that place. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. Okay, it looks really nice. Also, this uh, music, the Hymn of the Faith, you're going to be hearing this a lot throughout the game. I mean, a lot. Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Oh, what's a High Summoner? Uh, I... I got too close to Sin's, uh, toxin. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant... ...was that we should respect some kind of great men, or something like that, I figured. Okay, um, now it's time to just, uh... Do I need to go up the stairs or maybe these things? I don't know if there's a chest over here. There probably is. Um, no, there is not. There's nothing over here. I lied. This is wrong. This is very wrong. Let's go to the other door first before we actually head up the stairs because I believe that's where I have to go. Okay, let's take a look at this. Dude, there's nothing here either. Okay, move away then. Move away. Let's just go up the freaking stairs. Oh. Whoops. I guess we can't do much. So it is time to just go back. Sorry, for some reason I thought I had to go up the stairs. I don't know why I thought that. So I guess it's back to, um, Waka's place. Which would be this building right here. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. Take a nap. You look pushed. Okay, sure. We gotta do this to progress the story. We must sleep. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly. But, but it's, it's been, been nearly. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Do you... Do you hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. <gasps> Waka? 
Okay, so more, you know, nice scenes about the past. And yes, that was actually Titus as a kid, as a child. A scene about his father, you know. Jacked. So it's time to move into, well, over here, of course. Towards the temple. I mean, actually, let me see. No, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere, and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed! Like I care! Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Oh my god, freaking Titus already breaking the rules and stuff, right? Okay, so... Uh, basically, these things are called Cloister of Trials. You're going to be seeing a lot of these throughout the game, and, um... Yeah, they're, they're pretty challenging. I mean, at the beginning they're not, but it's just, they're puzzles. They are very challenging puzzles, somewhat, at least if it's the first time you're playing the game. And it could get pretty crazy, it really could. But like I said, this one's not that hard. The next one isn't either, but eventually they can get a bit tricky. Luckily, I know how they work. But there's one in particular that's so freaking ridiculous. Like, it's just... Oh my god, I can't even... Wow. I can't even begin to explain that. Alright, so let's see. Um, let's go to this thing. Okay. I think it'll be talking to me about spheres or something. I don't even know. Glyph spheres open the way to the Chamber of the Faith. Destruction spheres open the way to hidden treasures, okay? The sage spheres are also necessary. Okay, cool. So are you gonna give me something? I mean, oh, there we go. Awesome. So yeah, you can only hold one sphere at a time, and usually spheres are used to unlock places. For example, I can use it here. Insert that. There we go. See how it works? Yeah. The next thing I need to do, though, is I need to take it from the door again. Okay. Let's see. I think the next thing is probably this. Let's go ahead and insert the sphere here. And this will make this door appear. Awesome. Okay. What the heck? What's in here? That's a destruction sphere. Hmm. I'm going to avoid that for now because I have to do something else first. I believe it's, um... Because, like, I'm trying to remember this, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it can still be a bit crazy. Okay. I need to examine this. Touch symbols. Okay. That opens a door. Let's go ahead and enter now. A besaved sphere. Okay, I'm going to take this one now. That's what I need. And now, I can go ahead and put this into the pedestal. Okay. Now before I keep going with the pedestal, it's actually important to uh, go back first. Back this way. Oh my god, hurry up. This way. And I want to get to the destruction sphere first, which would be this one. Let's go ahead and take it. And we must place a destruction. Basically, destruction spheres are important. If you want a certain summon later in the game, you want to go ahead and use a destruction sphere in every single cloister of trials. So, this will be the first one, of course. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. A chest. What could it be? And it is... The Rod of Wisdom. It's actually a very good rod by this point in the game, but I'll be explaining that as we go. But for now, we're actually pretty much done, because I can keep... Uh, let's see. What's, yeah. 
I could keep pushing that, and that, okay, that'll end the cluster of trolls. Like I said, this one's easy. But later on, they get tricky. They get very, very tricky. So, I'm actually going to end it right here. And next time, I will actually just, uh, well, push this pedestal, and we'll see what happens. Because, you know, Titus actually already um, broke the rules. Not good, you know? So he could be in trouble, but let's see what happens. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.